Hello and welcome back to the studio. Today we're going to continue our ring building. We have our first piece here completed, but we have our brass side here. And next up we're making is our silver side. Um, so we're going to start that here and pretty much we're going to follow the same process. Cut, wrap, solder, and then we're going to work on making the joints really smooth together and then soldering these two together. So here we go. See, this wraps really nicely around our mandrel. Get this even a little more turned to it. My goal is to size it around a size seven. Got a really nice cut there. That matches really nicely. We're gonna get these lined up.
All right. So we have our nicely formed ring there. Do a little clean off here. Get our nice little borax misks going here. Awesome. Got our. I'm gonna grab our <clears throat> hard solder here. Try and cut off our solder here. pieces. So we have our two pieces of solder prepped. We have our band prepped. There. Ready. Put a piece of solder on there. Just this one little piece should.
Excellent. Looks like our joint went really good there. Nice, solid joint. So I just put the ring in the pickle, which is going to allow it to remove the oxidation. I'm going to pull that out, put it on the mandrel, check the sizing, do some smoothing, and then we're going to see how it sizes next to our brass ring. All right. So we've pulled the ring from the pickle. Just doing a quick look over, seeing how it took the solder. Looks pretty good. So a little small right now, so we're Okay. So now we're just adjusting the sizing of our silver ring to match the size of our brass ring. Not too far off now. Not too far off at all. So I got this almost the size. What I'm gonna do now is do a quick little annealing. A nice dull red color on that. I'm just going to let this cool down naturally. thing. Drop this onto the anvil up here and do a quick little flatten there.
All right. So the goal with that was to soften the metal back up so that as I hammer on it, it's not going to fight me quite as much because the process of hitting on it has definitely hardened it a bit. coming along pretty good now just a little snug but that's okay that's kind of how the two would look the two would look together there I think eventually I'll make this silver one a little thinner there a little thinner on the silver. But the real question is how far off am I on the sizing? Not very far, not very far at all. So we're pretty darn close to what I kind of want my size to be. Maybe just another quarter of a ring size. final sizing I'll do yeah so that's how it would look on that finger there so it's just a little bit more on the edges there so that's actually looking really good what do here is put this back over I find Oops. making a mess making a mess all right So what I'm doing here is just working on getting the two sides nice and flat. So I kind of constantly turning it. And then I can see where I'm hitting and missing. So I have a little bit of a low spot there. And by rotating this kind of a couple degrees at a time, I keep what I consider consistent pressure. I'm not pushing too much harder one. Almost got it, just a little bit there, a little bit there. So getting really close. Now we have a nice flat. 
by edge on this side and do the same thing on this other. Alright, so we have a nice flat side, same thing with this one. Two really nice flat sides to work with. We'll do a final sand before we put the solder together. All right, so we have both our rings sized really nicely. We have a nice flush, smooth size, so these will go together really nicely. My only challenge is that I'm working on is the silver ring here is slightly thinner metal. So I think this was a one millimeter, and this one's about um, 1.6 millimeters with the 14 gauge material. So it's a little bit thicker. And the trick that I'm only that I'm concerned about is making the inside match as nicely as possible when I put the solder in there. That way, when I finish smoothing out the outside to match the two, that looks really good. So that's my only challenge right now. So I'm going to give some thought on what I want to do here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking initial thought would be to use um, pliers on both sides. Not pliers, sorry. My, my first thought is to use the tweezers from both sides and kind of lock it in. Possibly lock it in like this. But since one's a little different, I get kind of an offset, which I don't like there. So the other thought could be that I lock one this way, and I lock another one this way. And you can see that kind of does something funky there. So that might not work either. The question is, do I do, need to smooth down the brass band first to allow me to work with this one? So possibly that could be the solution. Hmm. Or possibly, I wonder if I smooth, that could be interesting. So a possibility would be Let's move the brass band down to give a chunk that fits perfectly. Align those two, and then go from there. Hmm. Let me do some thought. So, so now that I have my probably my biggest challenge here, I'm gonna give this some thought, and I hope I left you with something today as I'm building the second part of the. The main ring here. Um, if you have any ideas and thoughts of what I could do in the future, because probably by the time this next one airs, I've already completed this part, but I'm going to be traveling here soon, so the next part of this might be a couple days out, but I hope to put some together some really cool stuff moving forward. Um, I'll be hitting around the country for a project, so I'm going to put some videos up from that and share with that with you guys. Um, but if you have thoughts or comments of what a solution for something like this might be, please drop them in the comments there. Um, I'm always trying to learn, and sometimes there's little tricks that someone might be like, oh yeah, this is a really easy way to do it, or possibly there's not an easy way, and I'm doing it the completely wrong way. 
but like I said, it's all about learning and growing and trying new things. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I've left you with something and see you next time.